Hello, my name is Paolo Gantillano from Plus Service. And in the course of what are the customer needs for mass, I want to present you the case of Quito under the Project Solution Plus. So in this course, we will see the development of the mass app. We will start by the brief summary of the transport system in the city of Quito. And also we will see the city needs and how these needs shape the offer from plus service to overcome the different barriers that we have faced. A little bit of context, the city of Quito is the capital of Ecuador. It has around 2 million inhabitants and the public transport system is led by the head called Secretaria de Movilidad, that is a public entity. And under its umbrella, there are two main companies, Empresa Pública Metropolitana de Pasajeros de Quito, that runs and operates the public uh, buses system and BRT. Also, there is the Empresa Pública Metropolitana Metro de Quito that soon will start to operate the metro system. The fleet, there are 582 vehicles that runs over 71.4 kilometers of network and daily travel around 745,000 passengers. So under the Project Solution Plus, the city require a unique platform for integrating different transfer modes, starting by the bus or BRT. Soon they will be integrated also the metro system. But this platform must uh, leave room for next uh, integration, such as a uh, bike sharing schema and also taxes. This platform must offer different functionalities, such as the multimodal travel planner for users to plan the trip from A to B using the different transfer modes. Also, the user has to have informability about the lines and bus stops that every line is passing during the trips. This is given by the timetable. But the most important functionalities and what's about this course is about the integration of the payment gateway. That means that the app will be able to show the option to buy the tickets, validate it and activate the tickets. The first ones uh, are related to infomobility. So the use of GDFS helped a lot to uh, meet the needs However, the use of uh, purchasing tickets, it requires a more challenge integration of data and also stakeholders. So this was the challenge one and what is about this uh, next slide. The project, to understand about the complexity, we need to see that the mass platform uh, are categorized in different levels. So the more higher, the higher is in, the, in this pyramid, the more complex it is. Uh, because we have to integrate different data and different services. The bottom is uh, done by the informability that mostly is linked to just one uh, operator. Then if we go upper, we have multimodal uh, integration, but also the possibility to uh, purchase the mobile ticket through the app. This is the case of Quito. But for doing this, it's important to involve a new actor called Acquire. That is a financial institution that processes the credit and debit cards uh, transaction uh, in behalf of the card user. Having this actor involved was not the main problem for the city of Quito. Um, we use PayPal, but we also could have used another much well spread uh, acquirers that could be local ones. However, the problem is about the commission that each of these acquire uh, involve. Most of them that could be really high for the case. Uh, even if pro the Project Solution Plus could cover this uh, commission during the lifespan after the project, it would be need to think in something something else, a new business model. But also what is most important is the user behavior. In the cities, it's not common to pay tickets using credit cards. 
the most common behavior is about paying by catch. So having this thing in consideration, we need to shape uh, the offer that we have provided to the case of Quito. A solution was given by this uh, web-based tool uh, provided by Plus Service and developed by Plus Service called Assistant. Assistant has the option to register the user within the platform, but what is most important to top up credit using any method of payment. In this case, the catch. So how it works is a very intuitive web-based tool where the user or the staff the, of the public transport operator will require very basic information from the passenger uh, such as name, um, phone number or email to register the user within the database. After the user is regis registered, the staff can top up the credit into the e-wallet by following two simple steps. Uh, following the, I mean, finding the user and also topping up by one simple button. So the, the flow of this uh, new logic will be this. Let's think in a case of uh, Maria. Maria has downloaded the app, have make uh, an account all by herself and uh, she wants to buy the tickets. However, she doesn't manage credit cards, she only uses uh, cash. So for doing this, she needs to go to the ticket office, which uh, will be managed with the assistant. So the staff will ask the, the personal data of Maria. She will give maybe her number or her phone number, and the staff will find her within the database. In this moment will be the transaction. So Maria will give the, let's say, $5.80 to the staff. The staff will top up this uh, money using the assistant. And Maria will see immediately this cash uh, as a credit within the e-wallet. So she will be able to buy as many tickets as she wants. So just for ending this uh, short course, uh, it's important to understand the, the role of acquire within the mass ecosystem as uh, very important for digitalizing the services, allowing to not only purchase mobile tickets, but having credit that will be able to purchase and acquire other different services, such as parking or, or any other. However, we cannot go faster than the user behavior and user culture. In this case, we provide the solution through PayPal, but we left room for uh, paying the services using Catch through the use of this web-based tool assistant. And thinking in further development, uh, we want, as I said, to leave room to include other services, such as bike sharing or taxis. And uh, this will allow to have uh, maybe development of new business model through mobile uh, packages that the user will be able to buy credit to travel during the day, a week or even month using any services that they want. So this is the short presentation of the case. We have more material in case you are interested in the development of mass platform, not only in Quito, but in other developing cities. You can contact me, uh, my email is there. And thank you so much for your time.